Are you ready to test your knowledge about astronomy and black holes? Let's get started. Warm up round. What causes a black hole to form? Supernova explosion, B collision of galaxies, C fusion of planets. The correct answer is supernova explosion. Next question. What is the main defining characteristic of a black hole? A visible light emission, the intense gravitational pull, see high radiation output. The correct answer is the intense gravitational pull. Next question. What is found at the center of a black hole? A neutron star. B. Singularity. C. Dark matter cloud. The correct answer is B. Singularity. Next question. Which phenomenon near a black hole can stretch objects due to intense gravity? A anti-gravity effect, B tidal forces, C electromagnetic repulsion. The correct answer is, B tidal forces. Next question. What kind of radiation is theorized to be emitted by black holes, causing them to lose mass over time? A gamma radiation, B Hawking radiation, C ultraviolet radiation. The correct answer is, B Hawking radiation. Next round. Where are supermassive black holes typically located? In star clusters. B at the center of galaxies. C at the edge of the universe. The correct answer is B at the center of galaxies. Next question. What term describes the boundary beyond which nothing can escape a black hole? A gravitational limit. Be event horizon. Singularity zone. The correct answer is be event horizon. Trivia time. Black holes can spin at an incredibly rapid rate, causing them to drag space and time around with them. A phenomenon known as frame dragging or the lens throwing effect. This effect essentially twists the fabric of space-time itself due to the extreme rotation of these cosmic entities. Next question. How do astronomers detect black holes? A by visible light observation. B by detecting Hawking radiation. C by observing their effects on surrounding matter. The correct answer is C by observing their effects on surrounding matter. Next question. What did Stephen Hawking propose about black holes and radiation? A. They emit visible light. B. They emit x-rays. C. They emit Hawking radiation causing mass loss. The correct answer is, C. They emit Hawking radiation causing mass loss. Next question. 
What is the name for the theoretical upper limit of a non-rotating black hole's mass? A Schwarzschild limit, B. Chandrasekhar limit, C. Hawking limit. The correct answer is a Schwarzschild limit. Final round. What effect does intense gravity near a black hole have on time? A. Time accelerates. B. Time decelerates. C. Time remains unchanged. The correct answer is, B. Time decelerates. Next question. What type of radiation is emitted by matter falling into a black hole? A. Radio waves. B. X-rays. C. Infrared radiation. The correct answer is the X-rays. Next question. What causes the phenomenon called spaghettification near a black hole? A. Extreme heat. B. Intense gravity. C. High radiation. The correct answer is be intense gravity. Next question. What is the proposed source of energy released when two black holes merge? A. Gamma ray bursts. B. Gravitational waves. C. Supernova explosions. The correct answer is the gravitational wave. Final question. What is the maximum mass limit for a stable white dwarf before it might collapse into a black hole? A 1 point for solar masses Chandrasekhar limit. B 2.5 solar masses. 103 solar masses. The correct answer is A 1 point for solar masses Chandrasekhar limit.